what's going on guys welcome back to the channel on today's video we have a customer's easy go they recently installed a lithium battery and they put a shunt meter in it a dc to dc converter and a charger well the golf cart is running the charger is not charging the golf cart the dc to dc converter isn't working we're going to look over everything see exactly what they did and what they didn't do we're going to just try to fix it on today's video they have a lead time 38.4 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery we have the battery charger down here we have the noco plate that i sold them it's installed properly there as well looks like they put like a little deck back here dc to dc converter there's the shunt there is the fuse block ground block but the first thing i noticed is we got a negative wire coming here from the golf cart and we have a black wire i guess that black wire might be going to well no it's the black wire i don't even know where the black wire is going this is the charge cable the charge cable positive is going to the positive side but the black is going down here to the shunt if you can see anyways I'll tell you what we'll do instead of trying to diagnose this right here outside we're just going to take it off the trailer pull it into the shop go from go from there they did some seat covers on it seat covers look good i like that saddle color there uh, she said it didn't have handles she gave me some um, hinges we're going to put some hinges on it that's the old battery she asked me to dispose of those there's a charger over there as well pretty good little card here looks like a little pds model switch is on the dash there and well we're gonna get started and see exactly what we can do with this right here and see if we can uh, get it running for them the right way hook everything up the right way and go from there i don't know why they're running all the accessories off the battery if they put a fuse block in here i don't know i don't know i'm not gonna make no assumptions because they actually watch my channel this is not the worst thing i've ever seen before i think the worst thing from my town was that club car iq model that we bought on like 27s last year or the year before last i'll throw a picture of the video here i think that was the worst wiring job i've ever seen um but anyways i, I actually bought that golf cart but i'm just repairing this for some people but anyways let's get started all right so we got the back cover off I like the fact that they got this, the fuse blocks, the shunt, and the um, DC to DC converter. Uh, I might use that in the future. I kind of like that's a pretty good idea. Let's look at the shunt. Power wires coming off of the shunt, going to the power of the battery, which that's correct. That's going to the gauge up front. That's correct. B negative. This is where your battery goes to. So listen, guys, on a shunt, you always use the same gauge cable as your golf cart. So we're going from the from the battery to the shunt and they got like 14 gauge or 16 gauge wire here. They also have the battery cable, the ground from the battery going to the battery. So number one, what's happening is with the gauge on the shunt, the shunt reads ground. You know, the ground passes through the shunt and it reads the amperage of the ground. Or it reads the amperage as it's pulling through the ground. Okay, with that being said, with the golf cart hooked to the battery, you're never going to understand what the gauge is reading because it's going to be so low and the gauge is only going to say, you know, one amp or two amp or whatever because you're bypassing the shunt meter to the golf cart. So, number one, we got to move this ground wire here from the battery to P negative. And we need to replace this right here little tiny wire with a heavier duty cable going to the battery. And that's the first thing we're going to do. These lead time batteries, they take half inch uh, sockets to get the, um, the terminals off. Okay, so we're going to take that off. And I'm not even sure if this is going to reach. And it's not going to reach. So... We might have to see if we have a longer cable, but we need to remove this uh, nut right here, remove this little cable and replace it with something uh, equal size as the golf cart. 
All right, guys, I got a six gauge cable. Went ahead and shined off the ends to expose more copper. It fits perfectly fine on top of the battery. And this side here fits perfectly fine now on that larger uh, hole. I had to wallow it out just a little bit or open the hole up just a little bit. So this right here is a little bit bigger bolt here. And that is now installed. Let's put a washer on there, lock washer, and nut. And that will be considered done for the battery side of the shunt. All right, so I went ahead and pulled that cover right there off from on top of the controller. It took four bolts. These are what the bolts look like right here. It takes a 3 8 socket to do so. This wire here is the ground wire for the controller. It's coming down and it's going to this top lug right here. So I'm gonna replace that one cable there. I found a little bit longer cable. It's the same size, maybe just a tad thicker. We're gonna replace this one right here and that should help us reach to the P negative of the shunt. So we're gonna go P negative of the shunt to all the grounds not just the accessories, even the golf cart goes through there as well. All right, got that connected. It's ran down and it's actually running behind the battery up to P negative. So now we have the golf cart going first into the shunt. Second thing that's going into the shunt is going to be the charger. And the third thing that's going into the shunt is gonna be the DC to DC converter. I think what I'm gonna start working on next is cleaning some of these wires up right here and eliminating some of the length. Like on this charger here, we're just gonna shorten it down and connect it. And some of those other things, we might do the same thing as well. All right, so I went ahead and shortened up the charger cable. I went ahead and shortened up the shunt power. And this last cable was this one. Okay, so reading the DC to DC converter by ProChaser, Yellow is output positive, that's correct. Black is output negative, that's correct. Thin black is input, thin black is going to the shunt P negative, that's correct. Red is input and then thin red is key switch. Well, the, the key switch was never hooked up so the Pro Chaser is not gonna turn on without a key switch power. So they have this right here going to the battery all right, so the red wire from the DC converter, I got it run down this harness here, got it running underneath the golf cart. Went ahead and pulled the switch out and ran the red wire up here as well. We're gonna attach this right here, red wire, to the wire that does not have power when the golf cart is off. One wire should have power at all, at all times and one wire should only have power when the golf cart is on. That's the one we're gonna connect this right here red wire to. So then the DC converter will only turn on with the key switch. Now on some of these easy go golf carts, the input power is determined by if the golf cart is in forward or reverse. So um, if you're checking and neither one of these have power, then go ahead and put your F and R switch in forward or reverse and then check it again where the golf cart is off to see which one has power at all times and only has power with the key switch on. Just to kind of show you what I mean, we're gonna go ahead and pull the headlights on. Right now, the golf cart is off. We turn it on, headlights isn't on. So you, once you put it in drive, the headlights will turn on, turn off like that with the key switch. So I believe the key switch is getting its power from the F and R switch. However, it doesn't show that same thing on the schematics, but with that being said, uh, is the golf cart has to be in forward or reverse in order for the accessories to turn on. So if you have an easy go, just know that. All right, got the gauge in. My plan was to make an acrylic adapter plate for it. However, after looking, the only thing I did, I just went ahead and put some double-sided tape on here. I ran out of acrylic and um, I think it looks pretty good. It's not double-sided tape, it's Velcro. They had a big hole on this right here side, so I tried to cover it the best I could. 
but it's there and it's not flopping around. Um, key switch, everything now works with the lights. So I'm happy with that. All right, taking a golf cart for a test drive. One of the things I like about these shunt meters here, and when you hook them up the correct way, it actually shows the amperage that's pulling away from the golf cart. So you see that middle lower is pulling negative 20 amps right now. Once we floor it, it's gonna go up some. 100 amps is what it's seen. It's coming around, you know, 50, 40 amps. We're not even going full speed, but that's where we at right now with the shunt meter. It also tells you the voltage of the battery at the bottom left. It tells you the amperage up here uh, at the top. It's got your capacity here, eight hours and 13 minutes, excuse me, to, um, to go on it if you keep running. Now, it is showing 0 0.07 amps, and we're not moving because we have the DC to DC converter on. Now, I'm trying to key switch off. That should go down just a little bit. And it's going down to 0 0.03 amps. So this right here is what the uh, battery monitor is pulling, 0 0.02 amps away from the battery. So it lets you know everything on that. So the golf cart is done. Go ahead, turn it on. I'm gonna put the headlights on. Headlight button is on. Headlights is on. Tail lights are on. Dogs don't like me over here, but it's all good. This is what the inside of the battery looks like now. Try to clean the wires up as best as we could. Uh, we ran all the grounds to the shunt. We ran this one battery uh, cable to the shunt as well. That's fixed. We fixed the DC to DC converter, running that extra wire down the side of the frame here, and it's going to the key switch. So everything's working as it should now and all the problems are fixed so i'll link all this the stuff that's on this golf cart in the video description below this battery by lee time these are good batteries i've ran these right here in a bunch of carts i'll put this battery down below to a link where you can find it at its cheapest price and usually they come with the chargers but if i can't find it with the charger i'll put the charger down there as well i'll be sure to add the shunt meter i'll be sure to add the dc converter and the fuse block as well in the description below so appreciate you guys watching today's video it wasn't very very interesting but maybe someone got something from it but i'm gonna get away from these barking dogs because they're probably ruining the video i'll add in here as well the noco um i'll put a link to this right here down below and these adapter plates i sell the adapter plates they don't come with any hardware i have them in 36 and a 48 volt configuration